Sage Intact offers a very flexible work breakdown structure and job setup structure. Here, we're looking at a jobs list. In my jobs list, I can see that there's multiple sets of hierarchies set up for my jobs. Inside that job, I've broken down the job into three phases, phase one, phase two, and phase three. And we can keep going down to 10 levels of hierarchy in our job setup if we need. At each level of the job, if I click on edit, I can see those job properties. One of these properties uh, that we have here is this checkbox that says invoice with parent. If that box is unchecked, that means that this uh, leaf of the job or branch of the job is going to create its own invoice. If I check that box, that means anything billable on this job is going to roll up to the parent job. And as the billing rolls up, it could be producing an invoice at the top level of the job. That gives us the ability to create one invoice per customer, even if several, several different jobs are involved. In addition to the hierarchy of the job setup, we also have a pretty flexible cost code structure. So inside my job setup, I can set up a cost code catalog. This cost code catalog can house multiple set of cost codes that I can add to a job. So for example, my best set of jobs is going to have one set of cost codes. And then if I add a job that should require these cost codes, I can simply add these cost codes to the jobs. I have another set of residential cost codes, and if I chose a job to use those cost codes, I can simply add those to the job. So these cost codes can be designated based on, say, the field that these jobs are working in, or they can be based on the industry that your jobs are taking place within. Having multiple sets of standardized cost codes allows us to produce multiple reports in comparison of a job by job comparison based off of those cost codes. In addition to that job setup and the cost code setup, we also have the ability to create multiple estimates. As I come into my job estimates, I can see that I've got multiple jobs set up for a single estimate. So for example here, I've got four different estimates set up for one job. Like current estimate is going to have all of my original estimates, plus and minus any change orders, in addition to that estimate, I've got different forecasts here as well. Now, we can keep out just a current forecast and update it whenever it needs to be updated if we want to. But if we wanted to keep a historical record of, say, like multiple forecasts, uh, so we could compare and contrast forecasts and how they've changed over time, we can copy it and make adjustments. Now, looking at my current estimate here, I'll be able to see how that estimate set up. So my estimate type is going to indicate what kind of estimate this is. Now we can decide if we want it to be like a current estimate or a forecast. Uh, we can create as many different types that we want. And scrolling down here, we'll see that the line items are broken down in the estimate. We can see the workflow type here, which includes original entities, revisions, forecast, and change orders. Everything is broken down by cost code, cost type, and as granular detailed information as we want for the item setup. We can even indicate which vendor it is that we want to budget this estimate for. Scrolling to the right here, we see unit rates and amounts. And in some cases, just a flat amount for that line item is fine. Uh, other times we might see something different. Scrolling down here, uh, we're gonna go to the bottom of our estimates. We'll see any change orders that have been processed for this estimate and how those would affect the estimate. Taking into account all of my estimates and job setups, this gives me the ability to produce WIP reports. So we're gonna come into my WIP dashboard. You will be able to see several different components of the WIP report, um, and these are really flexible. We can include different components in our WIP report depending on your individual needs and your company needs. The idea here in Sage Intact is that your WIP report is going to keep your contract amounts, your estimates and change orders and provide you with calculations based off of those fields that you have. There are many different formats of what reports that we want to use, and we can see a few of them presented here in the dashboard. Finally, in looking at individual job setup, we can see that information we might want to track on a job. The job setup has many different fields on it as a default, 
but you can add additional custom fields to track anything that you want. These custom fields can then create job groups that allow you to run reports and financial reports on those groups or as the attributes themselves. I can take any job, any field in this job, for example, the job type and run financial reports on that. We can show a PL report by job type. We can show project profitability by job type or other fields that are chosen. A really popular one that we see oftentimes that people use or companies use is uh, to show financial reports or job-based reports based off of a project manager. So if you have, say, like multiple project managers and you want to drill down into the financial reports or job-based reports based off of which project managers are assigned to what, that's a really common one you can do and it's super easy to run. Again, this has just been a brief overview of job setup and structure inside of Sage Intech. And the big thing that I want to impart to you in this is that it gives you a lot of flexibility when it comes to the reports you can run and how you can get into the specific details of your company so you can have access to the reports that you need. And it makes running custom reports based off of the uh, parameters that you need super simple. So if you have more questions or if you'd like more information on what this might look like for you or your company, feel free to reach out and we'll see you in the next video.